man, this spring, getting back after it. We were on the stand a little longer than normal, but the fog's rolling in, it's a small farm, so we figured we'd just run it out with these new sounds. And uh, it was like 20 minutes, a lot longer than what we normally expect a coyote to come in, but we stuck with it. This coyote came through here, locked onto the dogs. I'd love to have let them work a little longer, but the fog's rolling in, and that right there is basically property line. So we don't have a lot of room. We encountered that in breeding season on this farm. So we got the dogs to work for a quick second, just knock the dust off. We went ahead and put that coyote down so we've got something to chew on. We got set up on this farm. Getting here, cows were all over this field. We spent probably 10 minutes just uh, us and the dogs running cows out. Finally got them out. Even with all that noise and stuff, we decided to sit here and call. We tucked back in the same spot we did in breeding season, this fallen tree in the fence line. Gave us good cover, broke us up. Started some house, went up stress and fights. Took longer than we expected, but with the way the sand started us, the cows, we figured we'd give it a go. And uh, this female, exactly what we were expecting. We expected to call in the female here because of what happened in breeding season, killing that male out of the pair. She just worked around, engaged the dogs. Um, you know, we got her killed a little quick, but just with the fog and the way this farm lays, better get this Kyle out and uh, make sure landowners happy.